I love the dark songs, the songs with the bass, the song that, you know, that you hear it and you're like, what? And this is one of those songs. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. If you want to know what my thoughts are on the new Monster X album, then keep on watching because I will share those. Before I'm going to start talking about each and every song, I wanted to put out a little disclaimer, which is I have a lot of respect for music and for producers and for songwriters and for artists, so you will never hear me bash a song. In my review, I will talk about each and every song. I will tell you guys what I found remarkable. Uh, if I found the lyrics really beautiful, I usually share those as well because I also read the lyrics. It's really important. In the last album review, I graded the songs and I really hated doing that. And I told you that I grade the songs because if I were to say that I like song A and I like song B, then you wouldn't know what song I would prefer. But still, I found it really odd so i came up with a new system which is i either hate the song don't like the song i'm neutral i like the song i love the song and i have a special category that is still nameless when i just am unable to breathe anymore because the song is so good you know yeah also the only time i would ever grade a song as in i hate the song i think that <laughs> i don't think that ever happens unless maybe the song is full of like swearing or something. I feel like I'm 60 when I say that. <laughs> also, I love Monster X. I feel like I am a mon- bebe. But you have like a stan and you have the ultimate stan and I don't know what kind of stan I am. What I do know is that I probably do not know everything. So if I say something that is wrong or if I say something and you're like, hey, I have more information on this, let me know in the comment section. I love to be educated about the idols that I love. And last but not least, this is personal. This is a personal opinion. There's no right, there's no wrong. I think this video is going to be a long one, so I have timestamps in the description box down below if you want to just check out a couple of songs. And if not, then just relax, grab a biscuit, grab some tea, have fun with me. Let's just chat. <laughs> the first song on the album is called Love Killer and that is also a single. And that makes sense because that song, it makes sense for an opening song for an album and also for the first single because like with that song, they don't give away everything yet that the album has to offer. So it's a lovely start, but there are more better songs to come. I love the fact that the song starts with a spoken sentence and of course, you know, Monster X song isn't complete with a thick ass bass. This song doesn't disappoint in the bass section as well. I also love the do 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 do. <laughs> I don't know why I, when I say that I automatically go into the Blackpink melody. Maybe because the song is still really new. I love that with the heavy, thick, nasty bass, that it is accompanied with breathy vocals. When you have a bass and you have that type of vocal, it makes the song less harsh, but you still maintain the energy level. Also, in the bridge, Kian is belting his ass off. That also happens in the next couple of songs, by the way, they're almost identical. If you were to remove the voices of the song and just hear the instrumental, you would know that this is a Monster X song, and I find that so special. You know, they're not rookies, obviously, they have been around for four or five years, something like that. There was a hair. They have their identity. You know exactly when it is a Monster X song. I also love the fact that you can sing along very quickly because the lyrics aren't that difficult. And speaking about the lyrics, I find the lyrics really hot, as in literally. And I'm going to read it out now. I'm going to bring back the darkness around me now and I'm reading the lyrics. I want you to eat me like a main dish. It's hot. It looks like it's hot. Hottish. <laughs> it ain't cliche. The obvious ending, pass it. I want something more provocative. So yeah, as I mentioned, this is the first song off of the album. It is high in energy. It keeps you wanting more. It's really, really clever. I am classifying this song as an I like the song because I know that there are more songs on the album to come that I loved. So it's a like. The next song on the album is called well, the translation is called Gasoline, and in Korean it's called, I'm going to read it, Kar-jung? Kar-jung? So the first word that I wrote down in capital letters is SUMMER! It is really different from the first song. This is just really summery. It makes you want to dance. And I also love Juhan's little sang sentence in the chorus. In the song they sing really like 
soul tree and at some point Juhan comes again and there's like thick auto tune on it and you might think like hey I don't know if that really fits but it does it makes it a bit more harder you know it makes it a bit more more tougher this is I feel like a summer song but it doesn't have this ultimate sweetness of a summer song. It has, again, like this Monster X stamp on this song, which I really like. Also in the bridge, Kion is again like belting his ass off. And I also wrote down the lyrics that I find interesting, which goes like this. Fire love like gasoline until my breath stops. A dream that won't end, fire love like gasoline. What I think this song is about is really wanting someone despite all of the consequences like it's now or never you don't care you have to have this person i don't know if this is going to be single i think it would be great if it is because hello the song is called gasoline do you think of the staging like you can bring out you know fire you can light up a car or have people with you know those things here and then they they spit out gasoline well that would be weird i don't know if that's an idol performance anymore i labeled this song again as a i like the song because i know that there are songs on the album that i love let's go to the next the next song is called thriller and is one of my favorites I mean, I don't even know. Before I like thoughtlessly play a song, I always have a second to, you know, let the title of the song sink in. With a name like Thriller, you expect it to be a bit dark. You expect it to be scary. You, you, you don't expect a summery kind of song. Like that will be weird. You know, you expect something darker. I love K-pop with its darker element. Like I love the dark songs, the songs with the bass, the song that, you know, that you hear it and you're like, what? And this is one of those songs. I love the vocals. I love the energy. I love the spooky pre-chorus. With this song, you can feel that this it's like that it's going to explode. You can feel the anticipation. You can feel that you're going somewhere. You're on a ride. You know that this song is going to reach a certain point where you're like, the head voices in the chorus are beautiful and for me the vocals that had shined the brightest in the song were the vocals from Hyungwon in the pre-chorus have you heard his like this his last word last sentence last word where he adds in this little vibrato for me personally i feel like those are like the best vocals he's ever done i mean that he has to sing more like that Give him more lines. He has to sing more. Like usually Hyungwon's lines are a bit more on the breathy side. They're a bit more like ethereal, if you know what I mean. But here he used less air and was more energized and it worked. And that little vibrato at the end. I replayed the part a lot because it did something to us. Yes. I would play this song when I need energy or when I'm really mad. The song is very passionate. This song has to be a single. I love the song. One of my favorites. Well done, Monster X. Well done. The next song is called Guess Who? And you know, guess what? It starts off with a filthy bass. <laughs> I love the fact that it starts with the rap and then it transitions to light vocals. That transition makes the song really dynamic. The vocal part that really stood out in the song were the vocals from Min Hyuk in the pre-chorus. His vocals were amazing in the song. I also love the fact that during the rapping, you can hear the P and the B sounds really loud and clear. Because usually, you know, you have these kind of plugins and filters that make those sounds be muted, but you can still hear the harsh sounds really clearly which makes sure that the energy level in the raps are maintained, you know, that it's not like sweetened or anything. It's just no, like it's bam, there we go. A couple of fun things that I also wrote down is I love the bell instrumental and also 20 seconds before the end, it all of a sudden stops a couple of seconds and then it continues to like the outro that keeps you on your toes as a listener. It makes you want to keep paying attention. So when that happens, you're like, and then you're full of anticipation again, and then it continues. So it's really, it's really clever. And without reading the lyrics, I, and just feeling the song, I didn't really know what the song could be about. Always when I don't really know what the song is about and I read the lyrics, it's like, Ah, okay, that's something again. Yeah, like this, these lyrics are also suggestive, you know, they're, you know, 
Yeah. The lyrics. My scent is dyed deeply, even the momentary sighs you exhale, secretly wishing to be filled with me, until the moment you want me. Badly. Don't test me. This is a game. Let's do it. Bingo. <laughs> Stimulate your nerves more. Sometimes a little confusing. Everything changes in one variable called me. You end up looking for me again. You choose me. If I'm just, you know, being dirty minded, then so be it. I'm Dutch. For some reason, I don't know, my gut feeling is telling me that this is not going to be single. I don't know, that's a gut feeling, so, um, but I like the song, so. The next song on the album is called Nobody Else. I find the synth in the background just really cool, and I also love Kihon's little ad-libs. I also feel like that this song is on the darker side again, similar to Thriller, and for me, the bridge in the song is what makes the song special, because then violence kick in. <laughs> if it were up to me, I would have chosen to put the violence in earlier or maybe even from the start of the song, because when, when you hear those violence in combination with the rest of the instruments, it's it's stunning. But I know that adding these violence in in a later moment makes the song have a wonderful build-up. So if you were to do that earlier, you would have to change with the instrumentals, you know, so that the song is going someplace. But yay, Himina. And I wrote down that for some reason, this song sounds like a song that could have been released in the more early 2000s. It has this nostalgic feel. And I was thinking, like I was listening to the song and I was like, it, it reminds me of something. It's not similar as in really similar. I was thinking like, what of what song does this remind me? And then I thought, yes, Cry Me a River from Justin Timberlake. And I read the credits of the song and found out that Hyungwon actually I think wrote the lyrics or he co-produced it or produced it. I don't know, but I think he wrote the lyrics. I'm not sure if I'm wrong. Let me know. I want to know if I say things that don't make sense. And I also saw something in the credits that I find really fun. And that was a name called Jantina Annika Hai. And that's a Dutch name. I googled, yes, she's Dutch. So as a Dutchie, seeing that a Dutchie actually was involved in the song, just does something to my heart. I also find the lyrics really beautiful and that's why I wrote them down and I want to tell you guys. The sun is setting and the moon is bright. Still, the moist air feels cloudy on the floor. Will I see it if I walk down the street? Stop for a moment, turn around. As of right now, I like the song. I give it a like instead of a love. But considering the fact that songs are growers, I think in a couple of days this could be an I love song. I don't know if it is going to be a single, I'm not sure. However, like when I listen to the song, I see all these possibilities when it comes to how they could perform it. Like I can see them performing this song on a rooftop, like in Seoul, on a tall building, in the night when the sun is coming up, having people playing violin behind them or next to them, and soft lighting, and the only light they can see is from the sky changing color and from the offices and, in, in, you know, in the tall buildings surrounding them. That's just a whole feeling, you know? And the next song on the album is called Beast Mode. So similar to Thriller, I read the title and thought we are going to go to a whole new universe right now because this song has to be amazing. And it is. So yeah, this is my second favorite off of the album. I love the intro of the song because it's sort of, it has like chanting kind of vocals. I love the sort of marching band type of vibe you get as well in the song, like with the trumpets. The build-up in the pre-chorus is amazing. The bass is amazing. It goes so hard. I also love Shonu in the second verse. The fact that Juhan's we are beast mode, like that That sounds really harsh and not necessarily pretty. He's really like singing slash screaming the we are beast mode sentence and that makes a lot of sense. I'm glad, like that's what I'm really happy about. Like I mentioned before, like sometimes you have songs where parts are getting beautified, you know, but having the P sounds, having harsh sounds, having this screamy type of vocals, you know, in places where it, it's good. Like, I love those kind of things. Like, 
you don't have to smooth everything over so that's not the case as well in this song and if i'm correct during the end of the song you get this sort of reggaeton feeling like with the bass and then with the chanting combined if i'm right that takes you to a whole nother place this has to be a single i actually wrote down <laughs> a little piece that i have to read i like when i listen to the song I think of like what ways they can perform this song and I think that this song is going to be perfect in capital letters for the opening of an award show or like the opening of their concert. I have to explain this because I wrote down they can alter the song. You would have the chanting, chanting in the beginning like without drums or a bass, just only those vocals. Then you would repeat that like for four times or something. Because then you would really have that build up. After it would repeat, then you would slowly get the bass. Then you would slowly get the drums. Then a marching band. And then all of a sudden, woo, like six shadows of, of six guys appear. And it's Monster X. I'm giving out free ideas here for Starship. You can hire me. Also, for a little bit, I had G-Dragon vibes with Juhan's Ratatata. And after reading the lyrics, my interpretation is that the song is about Monster X, their relationship with Mon Bebes. And I wrote lyrics down that I'm going to say so that you can maybe hop on my, my thoughts uh, train. When I walk the path, I have decided, without knowing where this is, please leave me alone when I'm losing me. And this could be a complete coincidence. You know, losing is a word that a lot of people use. Not only one ho, but, you know, losing me is better than losing you. That popped up in my head when I read, please leave me alone when I'm losing me. Reach out and hold me. We need your love. No matter how you block us, shout out to the world. Wake up in front of the continued running, run and run. Just go and we will fight for your love. Yeah, you know, like it's no secret that, you know, Monster X... Um, has gone through some hardships and I feel like in this song they like it's their way of mentioning it and they do it in a beautiful manner. I also saw that Juhan is in the credits so that makes the song a bit more personal. Yeah my verdict is that I love the song so this is my second favorite off of the album. The next song is called Stand Together. The English translation is called Stand Together and in Korean it is Te Tong Tan Kyor. So this song has an a rap feel. It starts off with the chorus and then you get like the verses. And I have a little bit of trouble with really feeling this song because the chorus is so different from the verses. And I usually really like that, but with this, I don't know. I think like this again is or grower. When you haven't heard the song that much, you don't really know exactly what you're going to hear yet. So then having that transition is like, oh, that's right. It sounded way different here. But once you are used to that, I know that I will start to like the song a bit more. Right now I'm feeling a bit more neutral because I'm still in that, like I have to find out if I really like this song or if I'm just neutral about it. But I think I will start to like it because when I first heard the chorus, I was like, oh, this is so different, but this is so cool. But then it changed. Thing that I really do enjoy about the song is that Juhan and I am, they go off in this song. They are so talented. I do really like the lyrics in the song. I think these are the most powerful lyrics off of the album. I feel like this song is about how they have grown as a group no matter what kind of beep they get thrown to them like come on like make us go through hardships doesn't matter give us all you got like it, it don't matter because we are going to conquer we are going to win we are going to survive we're going to come out stronger like that's the feeling and that's what how i interpret the song and i find that really special you know it's not again it's not a secret what they have gone through you know it was really difficult it was a really hard time for mom babies but you know we're not them so just imagine how hard how tough it must have been for them so to have a like a big mm, you uh, song to the haters yeah i find that amazing wait so yeah 
So no, I'm not neutral anymore. I do like the song. It has to grow on me. <laughs> it has to grow. I also feel like that maybe they are mentioning the hardships they had, you know, due to one whole leaving because they are mentioning hashtag. But I could be reading into this way too much. It could not be about this at all. But do you remember for weeks, you know, Mom Bebe's trended on Twitter? I do. It felt like yesterday. I was checking every day so i don't know but the lyrics go like this monster x we stand together counter attack by rebellion now pull the trigger we never change we stand together swallow the past days tell them the real deal has arrived it's such a like uh, you know just show them a certain finger you know words that said this is the end Please forget them all. Let's store our memories forever. I'm standing up again. You know, you can interpret this the way you want. How I see it, it's like people thought that maybe perhaps this was the end for the group. Maybe they thought this was the end for the group. Juhan is also in the credits of the song, so that makes it more special again. I just said in the beginning, like, I'm neutral. But I'm not anymore. I like the song. The lyrics are so damn cool, so damn empowering that I cannot be neutral. <laughs> Next song on the album is called Night View. And Night View starts off with I am singing really low. Um, and that does something to a person. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. Like we go from a heart song to this sort of Ibiza house type of song and it really really works. I really love the song. It's a song you can hear on vacation. It's a less serious song. It's a great nice song you want to hear when you are laying on the beach, when you are having the smell in the air of sunscreen. I actually love this one. I also wrote down that Shonu's head voice in the song is gorgeous. Oh yeah, and I also wrote down that this also feels like a song that you can hear in this really cool hipster store when you're in the dressing room. <laughs> in the middle of trying on a dress and then you're grabbing like Shazam, like, wait, I have to know what this song is. Kihan's vocals in the bridge are bellissimo. At first I didn't know if it was Kihan because it sounded so different. I actually went to YouTube to go to a like lyric video where you have the pictures of them light up and I was like, what? It is? It is Kihan? I don't know how many tones in his voice he has, but this was like a different person, but I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah, like his vocals are so good. Like they keep amazing me. Like we know he can belt, you know, we know he has a high voice, but this is also a part of his voice, so apparently exists. I didn't know. I mean, joke's on me. I also love the fact in this song that, you know, I am opened the song and I am closes the song. So it's sort of a full circle kind of moment. My critique point I have with the song is that it is too short. I love this song. That's my label I have on this song. So I wished for it to be a tiny bit longer. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit longer. Also, how I interpret the song is that it is about relaxing, you know? It is a lighter topic. I also think, you know, like this is a song that it's about letting loose, about maybe a summer crush, you know, meeting someone for the first time you're like, hmm, should I talk to this person? Just bubbly and fun and, you know, nothing too serious and just relax. Like, that is how I interpret the song. Also, I Am is in the credits. I just love it when a member participates into the songwriting process. It just always makes the song more special. So this is my third favorite of the album. The next song on the album is called Last Carnival and the song starts off really unexpectedly with a woman singing opera. Who knew? Monster X and opera. Turns out it's a match. Like this for me is a sweet song. I really love Keon's vocals in this one. I think that this style also really suits him. Everything suits him. I also think that this is a great follow-up song to Night View because it has this relaxation kind of feeling. So I really enjoy the song, but the song is also really short. It is two minutes and 54 seconds. So I would have loved it if the song was a bit longer. I don't know if this is going to be a single. Because of the opera, I can see the visuals in front of me. I can see what it could look like when they make a music video or when they are performing it. I wrote that down, so I have to read it. Because it starts with the opera, 
I can see the guys as if they are at a costumed ball and wanting to dance with like the bell of the ball, you know, like them having masks on, you know, and then all of a sudden having an opera <laughs> singer randomly there as well. But I really like the song, so I don't know who thought of the opera, but that person deserves a race. And the last song of the album is called Sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Before the song started playing, I was hoping for it to be like a slow song. The perfect like, <gasps> like the emo song. This song doesn't have that, but it is a slower song. It is an acoustic -y band type of song. Yeah, if I would hear the instrumental and I wouldn't hear the voices, then perhaps I would think that this was a day six song. I wouldn't necessarily think this is a Monster X song, but hearing this kind of song sang by, you know, Monster X, to me it's new, but it's fresh. You know, I really love it. I love the guitar. I love the fact that it also feels like a coffee house song. I am confused though about what the song is about. I have the lyrics. I don't want to stay. I don't want to pay. I don't want to have this nightmare again. Sorry, I'm not sorry. I don't think it's my fault. Thank you for tonight, for a lovely night. I'll say hello lightly. Sorry, I'm not sorry. I never want to see you again. <laughs> I had multiple ideas in my head. Could this be about not wanting to grow any more hardships as a group? Or about personal relationships? Maybe even the relationship that they have with themselves? This song is, to me has an open interpretation. If you know what it is about exactly, Help me out, because I really do like the song. That's the label it gets. I like the song. If it were to be a bit slower, a bit more emo, I'd be here for it. But it's good. It's a good album, because now I am going to end the video with my final thoughts. I feel like you can divide this album into the first half and the second half. The first half is really energetic. It's really powerful. A lot of bass. The album is called Fatal Love. You you could tell it is about love. It's about, you know, the lyrics are suggestive. And the second half of the album is more summary. It's less heavy. Random thing I thought when the album was finished was, is it me or in this album does I am sing quite a lot? He has this low ass voice. Let him sing. Let the guy sing. I love the fact that, you know, the album has a lot of bass, but it also has the summary type of songs that are more relaxed type of songs. Because if you were to listen to an album that's full of bass and full of just going hard the entire time, that's gonna drive you insane. I also felt that with the lyrics, it sounded, it sounded more mature. You know, as I mentioned earlier, there are lyrics in this album that are more suggestive, but there are also lyrics that I think are about the hardships that they have faced. The album doesn't disappoint. It is an amazing album. So I have three favorites and those are Thriller, Beast Mode and Night View, which is really funny because Night View is way different from Thriller and Beast Mode. They're amazing songs. I love it when you hear a song and you can envision how they would perform it. You can envision how and when you would hear it as a person. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorites are, if I have misinterpreted some lyrics. Also let me know if you have extra information you want to share with me about Monster X, let me know. I do feel like I am a Mon Bebe, but yeah, there are people that know everything and I definitely do not know everything. But I really do like them as a group because they have their own identity, their own stamp that they put on their songs and I really appreciate that. This was the album review. I hope you liked it and I will see you all on the next one.